This is Paul Brown here at VMworld 2017. I'm at the HCI Zone, a part of VMworld, where it's all about vSAN. And over here, we've got some Intel Optane and Supermicro gear. And I just met Vic a few minutes ago. Vic, what do you have in your hand there? Hey, Paul, I have something that I want to share with you. This is the Intel Optane 375 gig in U.2 form factor. And I'm here to basically tell you what it can do for us. Thank you so much, Vic. So on my site, I've talked about U.2. I've talked a little bit about you know SATA, SAS, old connectors, NVMe, Gunstick, M.2. Now there's wider Gunsticks, uh, NGF. There's a lot of form factors, right? But if you could show me the back end, the interface, what's it look like on the midplane where it plugs in? There we go. So there's a close-up of M.2 storage, if you haven't seen it already. And now we've got a server uh, behind us here. So if you can uh, show us and compare with regular NVMe. I think there's some regular dry slides over there too, right? Great, okay, so regular Intel SSD, and this is the P4500 series, great, versus Intel Optane. Yep, you, you were saying? So as you can see, in terms of appearance, it's no different from the standard U.2 form factor. This is the P4500 series, and what you're also seeing for the U.2 form factor, the Optane, which is also the same look and shape and form. But what you see is actually the performance difference between these two. Okay, now, what are these used for? Well, when we're talking about vSAN, you have two tiers right now. you got the capacity tier and the caching tier. So if you can give me just a little overview of what this hardware rig is uh, and how it's set up, how it's configured. Awesome. So basically, if you remember how the whole vSAN is evolved, so if you are looking at a few years ago, what we had was solid-state drives only used for caching, and for the capacity, we were using the typical hard disk drives. So later on, we have moved up and we said like, okay, the NVMe drives is going to be for caching and the standard SATA or SAS drives is what could be used for the capacity. Now, we are taking it to the next level. We say, well, NVMe drives are fast, but not fast enough for what we are trying to do. So let's move them to the capacity tier. And for the caching, we are using the Intel Optane. What we are able to get with this, especially with the Skylake scalable processor family, you can actually get a lot more performance out of it than ever before. Uh, thank you for the overview. I'm just going to go close in the camera here. So now we're seeing the close-up of the 2U server here. What do you call this model? Do you happen to know? This is uh, Ultra Product Line from Supermicro. It's a standard 2U form factor. And what it can actually do is it can hold dual socket processors all the way up to the top tier. So effectively anywhere from the entry level going all the way to 205 watts on the processor. And it supports the full memory capacity that is supported, which is 24 DIMMs running at 2666. And the best part is because the Skylake scalable processor family supports 96 lanes of PCI Express on a dual socket, we're able to maximize the performance out of it. What you are seeing here is that every one of these NVMe devices has a dedicated PCI Express by four connector. So you're able to get the maximum throughput from that. And thanks to the Intel Optane, you are able to also benefit from the extreme low latency that is persistent and consistent across the board for different workloads. Well, I really appreciate your uh, little deeper dive there into the weeds of how it actually works. Because, yeah, when you have that many drives, I was kind of wondering, would each of them actually have full performance? And you just answered that question. So all the way on lowly Xeon D, for instance, all you have is one PCIe slot. I have a lot of articles about that particular system where you can do bifurcation. You can make it a by 16 slot by default or by four by four by four by four. And with a card, you can adapt it so each gumstick, each M.2 runs at full speed. Here we are in the enterprise level with a whole lot of drives and you're still maintaining that full PCIe speed. So that's cool. All right, well, thank you for this quick overview. Uh, I appreciate your time today. Thank you very much.